Hello, and welcome back to our FAQ series. Today, I'm here to go over some troubleshooting steps in case you've had any difficulties setting up your next to go HelloCam or HelloCam Pro. Why isn't Windows Hello one of my sign in options? The Next2Go HelloCam and HelloCam Pro are certified to work with Windows Hello, the facial recognition software that signs you into your Windows computer without the need for a password. To set up Windows Hello for the first time, open your system settings and search for sign in options. Click on Set Up Face Sign In, then Facial Recognition, Windows Hello, choose Set Up and follow the on screen instructions. If the Facial Recognition Windows Hello option isn't showing up for you, it's possible that you don't have Windows Hello installed on your computer, but don't worry, it's super easy to get it up and running. Just be aware that you will need a device with Windows 10 or Windows 11 installed. On your computer, go to System Settings and search for Optional Features. Then under Add an Optional Feature, click on View Features. Search for Facial Recognition Windows Hello, select it, click Next, and then click Add. Restart your computer to finish installing it. Once your computer is back on, you can go ahead and set up Windows Hello. Why won't Windows Hello work on my HelloCam? If you run into any issues getting your Next2Go HelloCam to work with Windows Hello, it's usually because of outdated software, bad drivers, or a weak connection. And it can be difficult to know exactly what the source of the issue is, so please test out each of these troubleshooting steps and retest with Windows Hello in between each of them. First, Make sure your webcam is not connected through a hub or adapter. It should be plugged directly into your computer for the best quality connection. Also, check whether you're using USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 or higher, as the blue USB 3.0 ports provide a stronger connection. The same goes for the cable you use to connect your camera, if you aren't using the cable that came with the webcam. Blue USB 3.0 and violet USB 3.1 ports provide a stronger connection. USB 2.0 and USB-C data cables also work, but they must be data cables rather than charging cables. If your HelloCam won't connect to your computer at all, chances are that you're using a charging cable. Try using different cables if you have any, or purchase a new one to see if this solves the problem. If that doesn't solve the issue, try reinstalling your camera drivers. To do this, open Device Manager and go to Cameras, clicking on the drop-down arrow to expand the menu. Find the Next2Go HelloCam or HelloCam Pro IR camera, right-click it and select Uninstall Device. Deleting the IR camera will reset the drivers for the infrared facial recognition camera. To perform a hard reset on the whole webcam, including the main camera, you can also uninstall the regular HelloCam camera device. Once the webcam is uninstalled, close all programs that might be attempting to use the camera and unplug the USB cable from your computer. Then, open the Microsoft camera application and plug your webcam back in. Within one minute, the webcam video feed should display on screen. If it doesn't, click on the switch camera button until it does. Once you see the video, you'll know that your drivers have been reinstalled and it's time to try using Windows Hello again. If that still doesn't work, the next step is to reset your facial recognition sign-in details. To do this, open system settings and search for setup face sign-in. Click on Facial Recognition Windows Hello and select Remove Windows Hello Face. Then click Setup to reset your facial recognition profile. If Windows Hello still doesn't work, you can try uninstalling and reinstalling the Windows Hello software. To do this, go to System Settings and search Optional Features. Scroll down and find Facial Recognition Windows Hello, select it, and then click Remove. Once your computer finishes uninstalling the software, you'll need to restart. When your computer is back on, go back to Optional Features, and under Add an Optional Feature, click on View Features. Search for Facial Recognition Windows Hello, select it, click Next, and then click Add. Restart your computer one more time and set up Windows Hello again. If you still can't get it to work, there's one more thing you can try. Download the Next2Go webcam setting app using the link in the description. In the app, try toggling auto exposure. If it was off, turn it on, and if it was on, try turning it off. If that made no difference, go ahead and turn it on before closing the app. If none of these steps work to permanently resolve the issue, please reach out to us at cs at nextogo.com and let us know the results of each troubleshooting step that you tried. We'll be sure to point you in the right direction or present you with your options of testing, repair, or warranty replacement.
How do I get the HelloCam microphone to work after my computer goes to sleep? Another issue our customers have encountered is that their webcam microphone disconnects when their computer goes to sleep. To resolve the issue, first unplug the webcam and then plug it back in. Make sure that you plug the webcam directly into the computer rather than into a hub or adapter. This step should reset the microphone so that it's working again. To prevent this error from happening in the future, set the webcam to your default microphone. To do this, open the control panel and search for sound. Open the recording tab and select the Nextigo Hello Cam as your microphone. This will ensure that your webcam microphone will automatically reconnect in case your computer was automatically connecting to another audio input device. Next, set your computer to continue powering your webcam when it's in battery saving mode. This will prevent your microphone from disconnecting overnight. To do this, from the control panel, search for edit power plan and click change advanced power settings. Scroll down and expand USB settings, then USB selective suspend setting. Set both on battery and plugged in to disabled. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them as a comment down below and we'll be sure to get to your question as soon as possible. See you next time.